Hey guys, welcome back to another custom room review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have HyperOS 2.0 based on Android 14. So recently we are not getting any custom ROM for this device. Custom ROM community is kind of dying nowadays. So we are not getting much. Recently HyperMint community released this version of HyperOS 2.0 for this device and I have been trying this ROM few days. This ROM is working well and you can try this ROM if you are a Xiaomi fan or if you are not using any kind of custom ROM on your device just coming from MIUI 12. In that case, this ROM will feel good to you but if you are using any custom ROM based on AOSP, you're gonna hate this ROM. So as you can see here, HyperOS, HyperMint ROM and the specification of the device OS version 2.0 and the Android version is 14. The security patch level is August 2025 and we can see other specs of the device in the HyperOS version 2.0.4.0 and the UI is pretty much similar to HyperOS control center as you can see here and in terms of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi everything seems to be working perfectly fine no issue but Wi-Fi got issue like as you can see here it can detect my 5 gigahertz band wi-fi but the signal is pretty low in my other devices this wi-fi is working perfectly fine no issue with that but with this rom i'm having this issue and if i try to connect as you can see here it didn't connect and just rejected and connected to the 2.4 gigahertz band i don't really know what is going on with this rom but it doesn't connect to my 5 gigahertz wi-fi but other things are working well, Bluetooth, Hotspot and BoLTE and Bo Wi-Fi, all those things. And the mobile network section, as you can see here, we do get BoLTE option and Bo Wi-Fi option. I did try that actually working. And interconnectivity, although we do get option, I do have Xiaomi Pet 7, but it doesn't do anything actually. So kind of unusable. In the more connectivity option, we do get few things as you can see here, cast, wireless display and all these things, quick share is working. So these are available. Personalization, so we do get AOD with this ROM. So if you want to use, you can use AOD. So as you can see here, AOD is working. And wallpaper, we do get Hyper Mint wallpapers as you can see here and typical Xiaomi wallpaper theme section we can download theme without logging to me account so all the themes are available and only Chinese language I have found on this ROM is in the theme app so we do get like Chinese language here but other than that I could not able to find any kind of Chinese language on this ROM icon option is available and all the typical things actually. Lock screen setting, we do get double tap to work and double tap to sleep working perfectly fine. So as you can see here. But we can't really double tap on the status bar to lock the phone. That is not available on HyperOS. Notification and status bar. So you can change it as you can see here. We do get few options. Xiaomi Smart Hub and control setting. You can change it to the old version and new version. All these things are available. And also few other customization options like battery indicator as you can see here. And connection speed, weather info and few other things. Home screen setting. We do get few options here like double tap to lock screen. So all these things and grid. Also like the animation speed and everything. So in terms of customization, you are getting a lot. They have tweaked few things here and there. Display and brightness, adaptive brightness is working. And we do get display resolution option, but does not really do anything. And few other things are viable here. In terms of sound and vibration, no issue at all. I haven't faced any issue here. Additional setting, we do get control notification sound and also like party volume control option is available as you can see. And few other options fingerprint and face data so I haven't faced any issue like it's pretty fast and works every time actually so I haven't faced any issue regarding these things and we do get face unlock option 
going to work but I did not enroll and few other options are available. Safety and emergency, privacy protection, all these things related to HyperOS. And in the app section, we do get system app setting, manage app, and also app log. So app log is available here. In terms of battery, so the battery backup is quite good, no issue at all. But still you are not getting any kind of fast charging here. The charging kept at 10 watt. So fast charging is not available, but we do get few options as you can see here. Battery protection option is available. So these are the things you are getting, charging control. So in terms of customization option, you are getting those things. And for better experience, you can put it in performance mode. So all these things are available, but we are not getting any kind of fast charging. And in the additional setting, we do get few options as you can see. Gesture shortcut, one hand mode and screen recorder. So screen recorder is working, I did try that. Floating windows, quick replies, LED and few other HyperOS related setting and MIUI related setting. So that's all what you are getting. Location is also working, no issue at all. And the animation as you can see here, looks fine, pretty fast. The ROM is actually pretty optimized. In terms of application, we are not getting much here. This is a GFS build, so we do get Google Play Store here. And I did install photos and few other applications just to try out. The camera application we are getting here is like Xiaomi's own camera application, camera, which got Leica filters and everything. So it is working well, no issue as you can see here. Every lens working well. And we can record video too. So the camera is working perfectly fine. And if you want, you can install Gcam here. In terms of photos, so we are getting unlimited storage in photos and Magic Editor is also working here. Pretty slow though, but it is working. So if I try now, you can see it is. It takes time but working actually. So as you can see here, working well. And unfortunately, we are not getting any kind of safety net with this ROM. So setting about fix the device issue and it will ask me to relock the bootloader. So as you can see here, lock the bootloader. But chat GPT is working. So we are getting some sort of safety net here. So chat GPT does work. And in terms of phone call, as I said, Bo LT and Bo Wi Fi working without any kind of issue. And as you can see here, I did make a phone call like Bo LT call and Bo Wi Fi call. And also the video call is working and I did record the call too. So everything seems to be working perfectly fine in terms of calling. Other feature I like, there is no other feature actually. So no circle to search or anything like that. And typical Xiaomi features we are getting here actually, nothing much. In terms of gaming, so there is a weird issue. I could not able to log in to my existing account. The one I usually used to test the gaming performance on custom ROMs. I could not able to log in that, but I had to create another completely new account to log in. After login, the device did perform well. No issue at all, like as ex expected, nothing uh, crazy here. So no lag, no hang or anything like that. Gaming performance was quite good in default setting. And if you are a gamer, you can still consider this ROM. No issue at all in terms of gaming. But remember that there is issue in terms of login to your existing account. So other than that, the ROM is perfectly usable. As you can see here, it is quite smooth. But those who are using an OSP based ROM, don't try this ROM. It will feel slow to you. So don't try this. But for those people who are using MIUI 12 on their device, they can try this one. They will be totally happy with this ROM. So the ROM link will be in the description below. If you want to try this ROM, you can try it. It is a usable ROM. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.